Hallo, ich muss wieder. Surprise! Nice! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to do plaid. Yes, plaid again. In five minutes or less. Let's get this started. We're gonna be using the coat today. Yes, the coat. What? So we're gonna wanna change the palette to the last one, the grayscale one. And now you just want to fill all the coat in white. Next, taking the second to lightest gray shade, we're going to outline the collar. You can very much tell that I haven't done collars before. <laughs> that outlining took me a minute. Next, you want to take the 10th gray shade and outline your dress. I decide that my neckline is too low and redo it. You'll see that within seconds now. Now we're just going to do the underarms. Yes, yes I did just do that. I'm using a controller that I haven't really gotten used to at the moment and as you can see I'm not doing a very good job. Make sure you fill the dress with the same colour grey as the outline. So let's get started on the plaid. The quickest way I found to do plaid is taking the line tool and going diagonal from one side of the dress to the other, repeating it as I will show you now. Oh and be sure to skip a line so it's every other line. Now I'm about to zoom in and show you the corner, the dress. This is what your pattern should start to look like. I'm just gonna fast forward this part till I get halfway done and then I'll skip it. This is what your pattern should end up looking like. Next we're going to take the pen tool and we're gonna start making this look like plaid. This unfortunately is the longest part of the video where you will need to pay attention. Okay, starting in the right hand corner, you're going to want to take the darkest shade, for me it's black, and you're going to want to fill in the grey, the light grey squares. To make it look like plaid, you need to skip a line, so as you can see I skipped a line, the arrows on the screen will show you what to colour and what not to colour, and then repeat this process throughout the whole dress. This part of the design is so time consuming, but I promise you it will be worth it at the end. If we take a closer look at the dress, you'll see this is the pattern that is now forming. If your dress is looking like this, you know you're doing a good job. You get in there. Two hours later. We're on the last line, finally. Once you reach the end of the line, this is completely optional, you can keep the straps as they are, but I decide to do them black. Now I'm going to add some buttons on the shirt. If you've made it this far, give yourselves a pat on the back. Honestly, proud of you. So proud of you. Now for the home run. Let's flip and copy the front onto the back. Remove the buttons and the collar, because we're going to redo the collar. Next we're going to trace the outline of the collar, the back collar. My collar is not perfect, you can fiddle around with it till it looks a bit more cleaner than mine. <laughs> and just extend the straps all the way up to the collar, and you're finished. That's it, we're done. Let's just name this bad boy something very simple and easy. Now to see it on the catwalk. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video.
Take care, guys. Till next time.